Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the Sana. one and only Sir. <laughs> What are you doing? Don't mess with my intro. <laughs> Sandra Solomon Fragrance. Hi guys. <laughs> so it's time for yet another fragrance haul. I'm super excited for this one because I have one Dior. Uh, I have one beautiful one from Killian. Oh, Angel's share is so good. Grab that no, one. Yes. stop it. And then uh, I have a few other exciting ones, and you have. But show them, show them. Oh, from Parfums I de Mali. Mean, yeah. Look at this, Oriana. I have been wanting yeah. this for so long. I can't even remember when I started to. So over this. you know, this is going to be an awesome fragrance haul. Before we get started, I just want to say thanks for all the love you guys have shown. I really appreciate it. Every single like, every single comment, highly appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys. So yeah, let's get started. Don't you appreciate me? I appreciate you as well. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so ladies first. Oh, which um, one are you going to go for? I'm going to start with one that I smelled like one or two years ago mm. and I wasn't impressed. Mm. But then things happened. I tried it in the store the other day and I loved it. Mm, nice. So uh, the one is Gucci Bamboo. Mm. And I'm going to. Did anyone bring test strips? No. No. So if I'm not wrong, I showed you Gucci Bamboo in the beginning of your fragrance journey yes. and you for some reason dismissed it. You and did not enjoy it. What happened was, because I just discovered that there is an EDP and mm -hmm. an EDT. Mm -hmm. And the, the thing is that you actually sent me alone to the store mm. to try out Gucci Bamboo. Oh and my. I didn't like it and the bottle was not exactly like this. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I... Um, I have a suspicion that they gave me the EDT mm -hmm. and maybe that's why I didn't like it the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, also you should not send me alone. Yeah, to I, I realize that. But the bottle looks pretty much identical though. I love the bottle by the way. Yeah, it looks good. So let's try the juice. Should I spray while yes, you please. share the notes? Bergamot in the top. Then some, oh my God, some Casablanca Lily. Ooh. Exactly the name of my favorite from Byredo. Ylang Ylang, orange blossom, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. I like it. Here you go. This is the bottle. Mm. I really do yes. like the bottle. This is wonderful. Yeah. It's light, it's floral, it's not sweet. It's, I mean, of course it has some hint of sweetness, but this is mostly to me a bright and floral one. Yeah. With something woody in the background, I'm gonna guess that's a sandalwood. So mm. florals, a bit of woodiness together with a hint of vanilla. This is not overly vanillic to me. No. Um, I really, I always thought uh, that uh, bamboo has this sort of a elegant and sort of a classy vibe. Yes. And I still feel that it has a hint of sweetness, but it's not sweet. I just love this one. I think it's an amazing this one. This is really good. And this is what I would say an easy reach. Yes. If you don't know yes. what you want to put on, just put this on, just reach for it and you will smell great. Yeah. It works for any occasion. And, and I, most people are going to enjoy it on you. Yeah. And yeah. I think I will be using this a lot. Actually, it just crossed my mind. If you're going to like a job interview, mm. you want to smell good, but you don't want to offend the person who's going to probably give you this a job. One. This one, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yes. Or simply whenever you want something that smells fantastic, but in a sort of a subtle and classy and non-offending yes. way, then this is a great one. So perfect. awesome first uh, yeah. pick. I am I'm going to it. go, I am also happy for you. <laughs> so I am going to go with uh, the first one. This is a big, yeah, this is one I'm going to guess this is one of the, the like Christmas boxes. Ah, so you get something more than just the fragrance. Uh, yes. Wow. Oh my God. So this is. This is good. Dior Homme. I think this is 2020, Dior Homme 2020. I could be wrong, but I do think it yeah. is. And then I have like a shower gel but i really like wow that's good i can't get it out so sorry but there's this is like a travel 
uh, what do you call it? Travel, travel spray. Atomi- yeah, tra- atomizer. Travel Yeah, travel atomizer. Spray. Uh, yeah. Says Dior at the bottom. It's all silver like this. And leather. And leather. Yeah. So that's quite a nice. nice one. But the juice is why we are here. This is very good. I mean, all the Dior own fragrances are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. This is uh, this to me is way less sort of lipsticky than yeah. Dior Homme yeah. uh, Intense and Dior Homme Parfum. I have a question. What? Are you just going to yap about it or are you going to read up the notes? Uh, oh, let's just skip the notes and let's just go to how we feel Whoa, about it. Oh, I really wanted to know. I think it's woody, slightly powdery, uh, but maybe with some anise or something. Mm-hmm. Anise. Anise, something really? Extra. I think you are going to be proven wrong. There's Probably. No anus in this one. Did you did you change your mind now? So we do get the notes. Yeah, so we have uh, bergamot, pink pepper, elemi, then we have cashmere wood, atlas, cedar, patchouli, iso e, super, Haitian vetiver, and white musk. So yeah, I think it's woody. the pink pepper, maybe, mm. that I thought was the anus. Anus. But this is this is like um, something that to me is way more sort of even though I absolutely love. I mean, Dior Homme Intense, one of my four life fragrances. Dior Homme Parfum, close behind. They are really beautiful, stellar, yeah. epic perfumes. This one is a bit. I'm gonna say this is more versatile though, even though I I, I can use Dior on yes. anywhere. Yes. But this one you can just put it put it on anywhere. You ha- don't have to worry about it being too lipsticky, too sweet, too powdery. Yeah. This is going to make you smell really, really good. So I really enjoy it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I think it's great. I would use this for daytime and I would put on Dior on when I'm going out That's for a good nighttime one. activities. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We still have to sort of uh, uh, discuss what your ni- de- <laughs> define what your nighttime activities is because every time you say it, I think of something. Yes, and, and I think you think of something. And naughty. I think you guys, please do put it in the comment. Do you think what I think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I mean, like a date or an after work with your friends or mm-hmm. colleagues. Why don't you just say after work with your colleagues or a date? I like saying nighttime activities. It's- <laughs> It just sounds so It sounds so pleasant. dirty. In a good way, though. <laughs> so, yeah. We both enjoy Dior Homme. We I do. really enjoy it. I'm happy to have expanded my Dior Homme collection with yet another one. Now it's your yes. turn. I'm going with, and this was Oof. a shock to me. Mm. Um, I love classic from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Not everyone does, but mm. I do. Um, and I just discovered that I have the EDT. And there is an EDP that's mm. been there all the time. Mm. Um, so, of course, I had to buy it. Yes. So, let's see if we like this one. Um, please try not to offend it this time. So, I know I've been sort of a rough on yeah. uh, classic lately, but I do believe I have at least one video where I said that I feel that classic is, it, it definitely has an old school vibe to it but that it doesn't sort of cross the line into being too old school. Yes, but I also do remember what you said in another uh, video. Hmm, I can't recall that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this one looks different though, and I really hope that this is sort of a, has the same, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I love the bottles. Uh, I hope this is like, retains the classic core, but makes it a bit more modern maybe. Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. It's really powdery. Wow. I'm curious about the notes. I like wow. it. Wow. So do you have the notes? Let's show the bottle. Oh my god, this is so good. Look at this. Rum. Ooh. Tincture of a rose. Mm-hmm. What is that? Tincture. I don't know. Like a yeah. Vanilla orchid, narcissus, vanilla, amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Oh my god. I like it. That was like... You can really feel um, the original in this Mm. one, but sort of the most of the old school vibes are pushed to the background. Yes, and this is softer and more sweet and more younger than the other one. Yes, more, I I would say maybe not younger, but more modern. 
yeah. and definitely more mass appealing. Yes. So anyone who has anything against the original are most likely going to enjoy this one. Uh, I, I really like it. It has something boozy. It definitely mm. has something floral, but to yeah. me that sort of a vanilla boozy and slightly powdery thing is just so good. This is amazing. I love it. Mm. I'm going to be using this a lot. Let's wow. move on to the next one and I am going to go with one from Atelier Cologne. Uh, this one is, apologies for the noise from the package. So this one is Vediver Fatal and I am going to let you open it while okay. I read the notes. Yeah. So um, if you are following me, which you are, <laughs> hit that subscribe and please do drop a like on this video. Thank you. I appreciate it. Then you know that I'm sort of a, oh, I'm sensitive to overly Vediver heavy fragrances. Yeah. There's something about that super green scent that I don't enjoy. So one of my favorites actually, that is sort of a, not purely vetiver, but vetiver heavy, yeah. is Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. That one I enjoy. And then I have a few fragrances that has vetiver in them, but that, that the vetiver is not the dominant one. Yeah. This one is like Tom Ford. It's so yes. easy to like. And the first thing I thought about when I smelled this was Grey Vetiver mm. from Tom Ford. And I think I'm not a fan of Vetiver either, but this is so good. Yes, <clears throat> this is a this is really bottle. easy to like Vetiver. So the notes are Haitian Vetiver, Plum, Violet uh -huh. Leaf, Calabrian Bergamot, Bitter Orange, Sicilian Lemon, Cedar, Tunisian Orange Blossom and Agarwood even. I can't pick it up. Whoa, no. So really sort of, a, so you good. have the citrusy part together with the vetiver. Yeah. Uh, and I enjoy this. This is like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah. In a way, <laughs> if you, at least if you think about the way perfumes yes. are. Yeah. So this is completely different to a lot of other perfumes. It is. And even though it's loaded with citrus, is it, it doesn't come across as too sort of citric. No. It's and so soft and nice. Yeah, it's a really soft citrus very very fragrance. Yeah, basically. So good. Um, so yeah, if you are, I mean, whenever in the future, if I want something that is going to make me smell fresh, I mean, this is perfect with a shirt or yes. a white t-shirt or something. Yeah. And you want to just uh, excuse, is that a good word? Um, project i don't know yeah if you would just want to have a beautiful scent cloud around you which gives the impression of something really fresh and crisp and nice and smooth and soft this is a, a fantastic yeah. one i really enjoy this one and i was actually quite surprised i mean i really enjoy a lot of atelier cologne fragrances but not all of them are amazing no. but this one is stunning and i was surprised in the sense that i actually found another vetiver that i enjoy yeah me too so yeah i really like it and you enjoy it as well i think it's great awesome so your next one my next one and i have been eyeing your mm. armani code for long Oof. and then i found one for women mm. so i bought myself armani code absolute parfum yes and this yes, is the yes. other oh, parfum i don't know if there is another one mm. i don't know so this is going to be good. We have uh, Neroli, Ginger, Mandarin, Orange in the top, then some Tuberose, Orange Blossom and Jasmine, and Vanilla, Tonka Beans and Sandalwood. And <laughs> this is, I, I mean, I knew I would like it because this is, mm. this is the stuff I, I, I mean, I fall in love with. So this is powdery. It has that Vanilla, Tonka, Sandalwood blend yeah. uh, with a bit of brightness at the top oh my God. but this it has a sexy powderiness i mean this is the top this I is like. even better than the one for oh them. really yes mm. this is really good this is great uh, i'm not sure i think you need a bigger bottle because this petite yeah, one is it's going so to, small yeah <laughs> 
So um, I would say this is mostly about the vanilla and the tonka beans. Yeah. And you do get that there is some kind of light floral mix. Yeah. But I mean, the tonka beans and the vanilla are the real stars. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think this was a, uh, an awesome uh, pick. Most of the yeah. stuff that comes out in the code, Armani code line is pretty good. I'm really happy to see that. I mean, for example, Code Absolute for Men is one of my favorites within yeah. the code, code line. Uh, I'm happy to see that they sort of made the, this one like a female version of it, yeah. but they sort of kept that same core essence of the of the male one. Yeah, that's this so is nice. an amazing one. I highly recommend it if you enjoy sort of a powdery, sweet uh, vanilla tonka focused perfumes with a bit of sandalwood in them. Yeah. Uh, just lovely. So uh, <laughs> this one is Iris Rebel, and I yeah you can open it. Yeah. and I'm gonna read up the notes. What? Yeah. Oh ah. oh, oh okay. There you go. <laughs> it's like we've never seen a fragrance yeah. bottle before or a package. So the notes in this one are Calabrian bergamot, orange blossom, black pepper. Then we have Iris lavender, May rose. White musk, gayak, gayak wood, and patchouli. Wow, that is like smelling a box of powder or lipstick. It's really powdery. Yes, yes. And it's wonderful. It's like the most clean and pure iris fragrance. Yeah, so... Um... Let me put it this way, if you do not enjoy sort of a powdery iris focused perfumes, then you will not enjoy yeah. this one. But if you do, then you will most likely enjoy this one. Yeah. Um, I, the reason why I got it was that uh, I felt that it was, it gave me this sort of a clean iris, Yeah. but with a hint of personality. So it's not just super, super clean. Uh, but the real reason why I got this one is that I can use it in two two ways. Either I just spray it on and I'm gonna have something powdery on me yeah. in a sort of a neutral way that is just going to make me smell good. But this is going to be magical for layering. Yeah. To layer, uh, to use this as a sort of a foundation to have that sort of a powdery iris at the base and this, then just spray on whatever I want to layer it with. Yes. So um, I think this is a great iris. How it do you is. feel about it? Yeah, it is. And I don't think I have ever smelled a, a fragrance that is so focused on the iris as mm. this one is. Yeah. It's always mixed up with something, but this is just pure iris. Yeah, and a bit of that citrus at the top. Uh, and I think it's a great one. And I'm really happy that I got it. And I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, using this for layering. Yeah. I'm uh, glad that you thought this was a nice one as well. Let's move on to your next one. Yeah. So I'm going to go with my first. I think there are more. This is Emporio Armani yeah. Diamonds. Yeah. And I'm guessing this is like the original and then they have flankers to it. Yeah. So um, most of the Armani, both for men and women, uh, have a ton of flankers. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you look at sort of a different discounters, you can usually find some of, I believe some of the diamonds flankers have been discontinued. Oh. I could be wrong though. Probably. Um, but yeah, I actually had diamonds for men, um, which I kind of liked. I bought it okay. years ago. I believe it was diamond. This, the bottle is the same. Yeah. But it was actually a bit boring. Okay. So I pretty much stopped using it. How do you feel about it? It's nice. Maybe not the biggest personality. Please do read out the note yeah. because I get something fruity plum, maybe not plum, but there's something fruity in we this one. We have lychee and raspberry in the top. Then some rose, patchouli, freesia, cedar, and lily of the valley. And some vanilla, amber, and vetiver. I actually like it. I love the, the, the lychee yeah. raspberry. So this is, this is really nice. Yeah. That part of it is, is really nice of this one. I didn't get the fruits in the beginning, but mm. now I do. And they are really nice. Yeah. 
the only yes. thing is the male version of this was had super crappy performance. Oh no. Uh, so I hope this one is going to have a better performance. Yeah. But I mean that one even even if you if it has sort of a medium uh, sort of average performance yeah. this is one that you just bring an atomizer with you and top it up <laughs> or just bring the tiny bottle. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, the reason why I say that is because that opening was really nice with the fruity yeah. berry side. So I can I smell it once again? Yes, you can. Mm. I like it. How do you feel about it? No, I like it too. It's just, I don't know if it's the COVID, but this mm -hmm. is not so strong to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this one to me is really fruity. Yeah. Is it? Is it strong? Uh, it's strong when I sniff it close, <laughs> okay. but I mean, I mean, I think you need to wear it in order for me to. Mm. Yeah, I like it, but yeah. I honestly got to say that I don't pick up the home fragrance. Oh, OK. okay. <laughs> That's not a good thing. No, uh, but yeah, that was interesting. I, I think um, honestly, I don't think this is something that I would recommend anyone to go uh, rush out and buy. No. Uh, it's a nice one. It's really nice if you really enjoy that sort of lychee, raspberry, fruity kind of touch in perfumes. But um, I, I, you, we had actually picked, we had that combo, maybe yeah. not that exact combo, but raspberry and perfume, we have other ones. Yes. And lychee as well. Yeah. So. It's nice, if you can find it really cheap, get it, otherwise don't bother. My next one is one from Diesel. Now Diesel, uh, I, I actually have quite a few from them. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna say for like, they are, you. I, I think they are actually quite good for as a like beginner fragrances. Yeah. Uh, because you, usually you can find them quite cheap and most people enjoy the scent of them. Yeah. Um, and I believe like uh, Diesel on no Diesel only the Brave Tattoo is one that I th still think is quite awesome. So this one is Diesel only the Brave Street, right? Yeah, Street. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean I'm gonna make a review of these, and then you yeah. are now going to do a comparison yeah. as well. Uh, I think this is another one that smells good. And another one that I feel that if you, here you go, if you Thank can you. find it, here's the bottle. It's that sort of a fist that they have in that. Mm. This you, is better than, um, <clears throat> I mean, I have tried the others um, and they usually, they're usually kind of balanced and mm. not um, with so much personality, but this has something extra and I really like it. So this one has basil, apple, bergamot and thyme. Then we have licorice, cardamom, hedione, and then at base vanilla, amberwood, vetiver, cedar and patchouli. Yeah, and it's the licorice and the cardamom that sti sticks out to me. It's really good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for the price, this one I believe you can find, usually find at the discounters quite cheap. Yeah. This is probably it's a great one for the yeah, money. Yeah, probably for the yeah, great for the money and then probably one of my favorites in that collection. Yeah. Um I, I'm I really enjoy it one. I think it's wonderful. So what uh, did you just say? I I <laughs> I really enjoy it one. <laughs> no, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. It is. I think um Basically, if you are looking for a, a steal, a bargain, yeah. if you can find it uh, for a really good uh, price, then get it, if yeah, you enjoy the notes. Uh, I like it, you enjoy it as well? Yeah, and sometimes we get questions about fragrances for younger men. Mm. Perfect teenage, ah. perfect teenage fragrance, but also for older men. But I think it's really, it's young and it's, yeah, really good. This is yeah, definitely. This is definitely for someone who's uh, a bit younger. But you can rock this any yes. any age because it simply smells good. Let's put it that, yeah. put that way. So now your next one, please. And now it's time. Mm. Drum roll. Finally. For Oriana. <laughs> and uh, uh, like a disclaimer, I actually put my nose to this one and. 
Oh, whoa. Me too. Take it easy. Wow. And I fell in love. And you almost tried to buy it before me. Yeah, but, but I made sure you did. Yeah, I really tried to buy it before her, but uh, pretty much it was pretty much sold out everywhere. Yeah. If you have tried Oriana, put a comment uh, below and let us oh know how God. you feel about it. Oh, I got away mm. from it. The, those fruits and that vanilla. Please, oh the God. notes, the beautiful yes. notes. So mm. in this masterpiece we have mandarin orange grapefruit and bergamot in the top then some orange blossom raspberry and black currant and marshmallow Ooh. whipped cream Oof. musk and ambrette oh yeah i mean i usually <laughs> love fragrances that have, has the note of marshmallow in them oh. the same with whipped cream wow. i actually had on uh, classic um Cabaret mm. yesterday or pin up one of them and they have um, marshmallow mm. and I just thought of the most beautiful layering mm -hmm. which one that one together with this Ooh. one you wow. gotta try that and report yes. back on how that one is yes I uh, this one to me is something it feels a bit powdery it's definitely has that fruity touch with the raspberry and black currant orange blossom beautiful beautiful as always but really what makes this the standout that it is, is that marshmallow with yes. cream blend together with the musk yeah. and the ambrette. So damn good. Yeah, this, if you usually so enjoy marshmallow whipped cream in your fragrances, I mean, there are not that many fragrances no. with those notes in no. there, but if those notes usually make you smile and something musky, something slightly fruity, something sweet, then you are most likely going to love this one. Yes. I think probably currently this is, this is, I'm going to say this is most likely one of my favorites for women in the women's collection. Yeah. If it's, yeah, I think it's, yeah. 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 It's for women. Yeah, it's I for believe me. it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I have it? No. You can smell me. <laughs> So yeah, awesome mm. pick. I really, it's like I, I almost want to buy it. Oh, I so tried good. to buy it, but I couldn't find it, but I almost want to buy it even more now. <laughs> you can buy it for five times the price from Whoa. me. Whoa. <laughs> or fair. you can uh, exchange it for Angel's share. And... No, 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 no. <laughs> so let's just put it this way. Fantastic one. So Another good. banger from Parfums de Marley. Yes. Uh, they just keep putting out awesome stuff and I'm loving it. Yeah. So now it's time for the final one and mm. this is... Oh. I, this is so I, I, good. I think honestly this might be my favorite perfume from Killian. Yeah. I fell in love from the first snip. So this is Angel Share by Killian. And I would say that that is probably your top five from the ones you have, all the fragrances you have. Uh, you think? To me, this is in the top five. So uh, let's just, uh, I usually, you know, I don't care that much you, about you the bottles. You say that every video. Uh, I don't care about the bottles, but... But this one this actually one. looks cool. I, I love the design of it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, let's spray And it actually what we learned is that it's a refill. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can, uh, this, you can, the same sort of a refills <clears throat> that you can buy for your standard Killian bottles will work on this one, yeah. which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spray this one on. Please try it on. And I'm... Mm. I got away from My it. God. This is so good. Oh my. Wow, this is so good. So what we have here is... Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, cognac at the top. Cinnamon, tonka bean, oak, praline, vanilla and sandalwood. It does feel more nuanced than that. But this yeah. one to me has that boozy, booziness together with something seductively, insanely sexy sweetness to yes. it. And isn't it um, because cognac is made from apples? Am I right? Um, I don't know. Uh, and that's where the apple comes from, because this to me is like sweet apple 
with booze. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think I mentioned this in our vanilla video. Mm. Uh, vanilla video. <laughs> uh, that uh, the, the one where you wanted to make out with Le Malle Parfum. Yeah, I think I need yeah. to switch that one out now, and instead I want to make out with this part Ooh. of light. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so what what I said in that video was that there are fragrances that give me different sort of vibes that are absolutely fantastic. So you have elegant fragrances that yeah. makes me feel elegant sexy whatever but not even though i think i might think that a particular fragrance is fantastic and it could be like a perfect rebel a 10 out of 10. sometimes i'm i'm not always addicted no but this one has that addictive vibe yeah. to it yeah. that just i can't stop sniffing myself i think it's a good thing that i don't have this one because i would use it Daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would. Yeah. yeah, you would. Yeah. Yeah, and you know how quickly I am. Yeah, a yeah. But uh, this one is—it's hard to describe this one. I, I really think that if you can find like a sample, if you usually like sweet, boozy fragrances, yeah. then you really need to owe—you owe it to yourself to check this one sweet, out. Sweet, boozy with something fruity. Yeah. Wow. So, um, I mean, m maybe try and find a sample of it, or get your butt to the store and try it out. Because chances, chances, are, chances are that you are also going to become addicted, like yeah. I am. Um, so yeah, I think this one is it was a banger of a fragrance haul. It was. Oh I my mean, God. Uh, so if we are going to top three. Yes. No. Did we? Do you, we usually do top three? I want to do top three. But we only have five fragrances each, so that's like yeah. more than half of them. So let's do. But I mean, top three from both. Uh, ah, mm. okay, let's do it this way. Which is your absolute <laughs> most favorite one from yours? Yes. yes, and that's actually my most favorite. Yes. Which is your wow. second most favorite from yours? Uh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Me and Classic will always mm. be like this. To me, it's uh, almost a tie between those two. I feel yeah. both of these, but they are. In a way, they share some similarities, but they are also different. I might actually agree with you a bit more than that. And look at that. Oh my God. I love, I love beautiful bottles. S yeah. I care about the bottles. Those two stunning ones. Yeah. Now, which ones are your favorites from mine? This is so easy. So those two. Ah, yes. Okay. And I... Number one and number two. Yeah, and I agree. And they are really different though. Yeah. So perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you, we could almost say that if you are a guy and want something <clears throat> that is going to make you smell really good in most situations that you can wear pretty much anytime, anywhere, get the your om. Yeah. And then for your night out. No, or, nighttime activities. Or your nighttime activities. <laughs> uh, or your date nights. Date night, date night, yeah, date night nights. The I don't know. <laughs> Or, or date nights. Or when you are going out with the boys, if you want something a bit more, se a lot more sexy yeah. uh, and seductive and all that, get that one. So this duo could actually be like a really nice one for a collection. Yes. I could live on off these two. Yeah, me too. Oh, no, at least, at least for a week. that one. Do you think this is unisex? Mm. Yes, I yeah. do think so. I think so too. Yeah. So yeah, good question. I could live with this only. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, awesome fragrance haul. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. Thank you. Make sure you head on over to Sandra Solomon yes, Fragrance. Come over. Subscribe to her. Subscribe to me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.